It is always believed that the Chinese invented the rocket. But it was nature when it created the Bombardier Beetle. Bombardier Beetles have an impressive defense system. It makes its own explosive just before blowing it out by mixing two very reactive chemicals, hydroquinone, and hydrogen peroxide. When an enemy approaches the beetle, they inject the chemicals stored in the collection bladder into the explosion chamber, where they add the enzymes catalase and peroxidase at just the right moment to speed up the reaction. As a result, hydrogen peroxide splits to form water and oxygen, and hydroquinone oxidizes to toxic 1,4 benzoquinone. This results in a violent chemical reaction that generates both heat and high pressure. As a result, a corrosive gas mixture with a temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius shoots out of the abdomen of the attacker with a bang. To show you the defense mechanism of the Bombardier Beetle, I have built a functional model of the insect. Here are some impressions of the construction. For the demonstration, I find the ground half a gram of potassium permanganate and half a gram of hydroquinone in a mortar and then filled it into the reaction chamber of the model. The potassium permanganate serves as a substitute for the catalase and peroxidase. I then added 30% hydrogen peroxide to the reaction chamber via silicon tube and a disposable syringe. I will now show how to synthesize benzoquinone on a laboratory scale. For this purpose, I use potassium dichromate in an acidic medium as an oxidizer. 7.5 grams of hydroquinone is weighed out. Then it is added to the 500 milliliters reaction flask. Next, 8.5 milliliters of distilled water is measured out and added to the flask as well, followed by 5.5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. A 
A stir bar is added and the magnetic stirrer is switched on. Meanwhile, 11.5 grams potassium dichromate is dissolved in 100 milliliters of distilled water. The potassium dichromate solution is poured into an addition or a separating funnel fitted to the flask. Now the ice bath is prepared. The magnetic stirrer is temporarily switched off and a thermometer is inserted into the flask. The potassium dichromate solution is added slowly so that the temperature does not exceed 30 degrees Celsius, otherwise, byproducts would form. After the potassium dichromate solution has been completely added, the funnel and the thermometer are removed and the magnetic stirrer is switched on again. After the mixture has been stirred for one hour, the flask is sealed and placed in the freezer for another hour to allow as much benzoquinone as possible to crystallize. Benzoquinone dissolves very poorly in cold water. In the meantime, we set up a vacuum filtration. The chilled content of the flask is transferred to the bush in a funnel and then the vacuum pump is switched on. The filtrate is washed several times with ice gold distilled water. The washed filtrate is crude benzoquinone. Normally it is yellow, but the appearance can also be green-brown, as is the case here. The benzoquinone can be purified by sublimation, which requires a so-called cold finger apparatus. I may come back to this in a future video. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.